run the git commit command with a commit message followed by git push to push our changes. This should have triggered both our SNS notification rule and the Lambda trigger. Consider this. You have an AWS code commit repository, and now you want to configure SNS notifications and Lambda triggers for it. Can you do this in a few steps using the AWS console and the Cloud9 IDE? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the code commit service then click on Create Repository and give it a name. Hit Create, then confirm that you see your Git clone instructions under Step 3. Next, let's head to the Cloud9 service, click on Create Environment, then give it a name. Let's leave all the other settings to their default values, hit Create, then click on Open Cloud9 IDE. Navigate to the Bash terminal, then copy-paste the git clone command. Use the cd or change directory command to go inside your repo. Here, I'm going to create a readme.txt file and save it in the current directory. Use the ls or list command to confirm that you see your readme.txt file in the current directory. Then run the git add command to add this file to the commit index. Next, let's commit this file using the git commit command with the hyphen m option to specify our commit message. Finally, let's run the git push command to push our changes to the master branch. Looks like everything worked as expected. Let's confirm this by going back to the code commit tab, then go inside your repo. Next, click on settings in the left menu then head to the Notifications tab. Hit Create, then give your notification a name. I'm going to select All Events to trigger notifications, then click on Create Target and choose SNS Topic as the target type. Give your SNS Topic a name, hit Create, then click on the Submit button. Looks like our notification name is not unique. Let's fix this, then hit the Submit button again. Next, click on your SNS endpoint, then hit Create Subscription. Let's select Email from the Protocol dropdown, enter your email address, then hit the Create button. Go inside the SNS topic, then head to your inbox to confirm your subscription. If you refresh your SNS page, your email subscription status should now say Confirmed. Now that our SNS topic is all set, Let's also create a Lambda function so we can trigger it for our repository events. Navigate to the Lambda service, click on Create Function and give it a name. Choose Python from the Runtime dropdown, hit Create, then scroll down to the Code Source section. Here, inside my Lambda handler, I'm going to add a print statement to print my event, then hit Deploy. Next. Head to the Configuration tab, click on Permissions in the left menu, then scroll down to the Resource-based Policy section. Click on Add Permissions, choose AWS Service, then select Code Commit from the dropdown. Give your policy a unique statement ID, then copy-paste your Code Commit repository's ARN. Choose Lambda Invoke function from the Action dropdown, then hit Save. Now that our Lambda function is all set, let's head back to the Code Commit tab, then click on Settings in the left menu. Head to the Notifications tab, then confirm that you see the SNS notification rule that we just created in Enabled state. Next, navigate to the Triggers tab, click on Create Trigger, then give it a name. I'm going to select All Repository Events for my master branch then select the Lambda service. For Lambda function, choose the function that we just created, then click on Create Trigger. Now that both our notification and triggers are set, let's head back to the Cloud9 service and try to push another change. I'm going to add a new line to my readme.txt file 
then add this file to my commit index. Run the git commit command with a commit message followed by git push to push our changes. This should have triggered both our SNS notification rule and the Lambda trigger. Let's confirm this by going to our inbox and making sure that we see a new AWS notification message. In your message, you should see details such as commit ID, repository name, and more. To confirm our Lambda trigger, head back to the Lambda window, then navigate to the Monitor tab. Click on View CloudWatch Logs, then go inside the latest log stream. Here, you should see your event printed in the logs with details such as commit ID, branch information, and more. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why don't AWS code commit users ever tell secrets?